Alright, so I saw this on uh, Steam Greenlight the other day. This is Depression Quest. And, um, this is a kind of shitty browser based game where you, uh, as it says here, you play as a depressed person. So, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be depressed today. Play for free. And it has this really depressing music that is really loud, and it needs to stop. Just a little bit. Eh, uh, that'll work. Okay. Uh, its emotional character is probably mostly indiscriminate, whatever. Okay, so something by David Foster Wallace. Basically, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna read a little bit of this. Um, and we're gonna play this just kinda like I play my life, where, uh, I read over things very sparsely, and then I make, uh, mostly random decisions, because I believe that a decision, any decision, is better than no decision at all, so we're gonna begin. Okay. It's early Monday morning, you're a mid-twenties human being, you have a significant other named Alex, who you are rather fond of, and your significant other is always Alex. Um, next, okay. Uneas unseasonably warm Wednesday evening, you spent the sev past several hours of work, the past week or so, job, would have lost half speed, okay, really sad and stuff. Um, alright, so, work close. Alright, let's see, we try to work, last time I did this, we just kind of crawled into bed, and I remember this ended like we, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we refused to go to a therapist, we dumped our girlfriend, we got, we turned into a drunken mess, and then we lived with our mother. And I personally took that as a victory, so we're just gonna keep going. Reluctantly sit down, do we want to try and do something? Yeah, you, fu you turn on TV, turn on the TV, you're gonna watch Netflix. Good job. You're a good Netflix man. Just a half hour of TV, you tell yourself, absently grasping for the remote. You don't so much sit down on the couch as sink into it, Jesus Christ. You turn on the TV and start going through your usual channel routine. After a few cycles of this, you realize that you're really not doing much more than thumb calisthenics and... I've never read that word. I, know, I think I know what that is, but uh, that's weird. Anyway, and absently killing time. You check the clock and see that over 20 minutes have already passed since you sat down. As your self-imposed time limit creeps over ever nearer, you become more and more anxious. You stand up and walk to the fridge telling yourself, I'll just make a quick sandwich and get to work after that. Can't be productive on an empty stomach, right? And as you eat, you start pacing around your apartment, heading past your whatever. Okay, next. I don't care. It's a mild Friday afternoon. Alex calls you from one of her classes telling you you're going to be a really... There's going to be a really awesome birthday party tonight. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, let's go to the birthday party. Do we get to go to the party? Do we get the party music? Yes, we do. I'm gonna turn that up. Beautiful music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. You agree to go, even though you're really not feeling social. You know, it's important to Alex. You really like to see her. Seeing her does make you feel better. We're turning that down now. That's very annoying. That That is quite annoying. Um, awkwardly stand in the same spot, unsure of what to do. Everyone else at the party sectioned off into smaller groups of people who know each other, and you feel like it might be too rude to butt in on any one of their conversations. That's right. Stay to yourself. It's on a muggy Saturday. Um, your... I think water purifier is above the road and really big. I don't know. Try to be honest with her anyway. Tell her that everything is fine under her coming. Could you want to explain to her how you've been feeling? Um, let's try to be honest with her and let's tell her about our problems. <clears throat> she reacts predictably. An attitude like that won't get you anywhere. You need to work harder at getting what you want instead of sitting around feeling sad about it. Nothing good will happen unless you make it happen. She isn't angry or spiteful as she tells you this. You try to explain that it's not a matter of that, but you can tell that you're not getting anywhere. Good, yeah. Fuck bitches, uh, whatever your name is, guy in Depression Quest. And now a picture of... whatever that is. I think it's a... I don't even... I can't even tell. Um... Oh, yeah, and this guy wants us to take his kitten. Uh, we become a cat owner. Look at that cat. Look at that cat. Look at that guy. Next, okay, we got the cat. Uh -huh. Late Friday afternoon and quitting time is just around the corner. We got some pizza while quitting. Um, let's see, you're very depressed. Ask Alice if she's happy. Don't say anything. Yeah, 
we're already upset. Let's watch some Netflix. Uh, this far from the first time you've had this conversation with her, you're deeply depressed. Wonderful. Breezy Sunday afternoon. Uh, you owe a lot of men and old friend town a week and leaving the house for coffee. Uh, you meet her in a small cafe. When it's your turn to brief uh, something possible, Amanda has known you long enough to read your mood until she leans in and asks, while gently touching your hand, a look of genuine concern on her face. What's you do? What's wrong? Do you uh, insist that nothing is wrong? Defensively ask what she means by that. We're going to defensively ask what she means by that. Put up your defenses, guy. Depressed man. Do you think something's wrong with me? Yeah, you bite back like that. You you don't let him see the weakness. You start to feel incredibly insecure as the realization creeps over you. Something you had said in your conversation made it seem like you were defective to her, and you find yourself feeling incredibly exposed. Amanda pulls away and apologizes profusely. Oh no, I didn't mean anything by that. I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. You apologize as well and say it's probably because you haven't been sleeping well. And, uh, okay, so we're gonna go on. It's a glaringly sunny Monday, and one of the few days that your brother Malcolm is in town and free long enough for you two to actually see each other. Good. I hate that guy. Um, did you get drilled full of holes, or what? Let's see. What appointment? I don't even remember my own appointment, so let's just go with that. Tell him about your tooth grinding problem, but the- oh, we were at that dentist. Uh... I can't tell him about the stress. It was the lie. Lying always fixes problems. It's early on Wednesday morning. There's a mountain range that you're. Or no, wait, you're. Uh, some whatever it is. Um, lately you've developed a nasty habit of waking up 10 to 20 minutes before your alarm rings, and unfortunately today is no exception. Can I just make a note that um. This is on Steam Greenlight, like, that you would pay money for this. Um, oh, we have to call our boss and tell him we're sick, and, uh, we called him. Okay. When you wake up short, you actually feel more stressed out. Good. It builds character. Go to your computer. Yeah, fuck everything. I don't care. No, that's okay. I don't know what you're saying, but that's okay. You're an okay guy. Don't burden anyone with your problems. Yeah, just keep it inside, man. You are severely depressed. Your motivation levels are non-existent. You alternate between feeling totally apathetic to panicking about things out of your <clears throat> about things out of your control. You lack energy to do much more than sleep the days away. Yet your constant feelings of worthlessness prevent you from getting any actual rest. You feel the like dying, but ironically, you feel like dying, but ironically, are too drained to actually act on these feelings. Good. Suicide is n sometimes the option, not the option now, but sometimes. Oh, uh, there's a fork. I like that fork. It's on top of... I think that is uh, a steak and some potatoes over there, maybe. Or just the rest of the plate, and the steak is funny. has a funny shape. And green beans, yeah. Wednesday evening, you're visiting at your parents' house for a holiday. Excuse yourself to the bathroom. Actually, you use the restroom. Instead, you decide to remove your... Calm down. All right. Malcolm's voice comes through. Hey, kiddo, you all right in there? You've been in there for a while? I'm not a kid, man. And the kiddo, the kiddo. Well, if there's anything you can let me know, there's a serve pie though. You're feeling up to it, yeah. Awesome pie. It's a rainy night. You're holding something in your hand. I can't really tell what it is. I guess it's a shirt. Let's see though. Your pace is quick. The rain is steadily soaking up your pants, legs. Yeah, I guess it's our pants. Did we take our pants off because they were wet? That's what I do. Tell you you're not in the mood. Oh, uh, there's a crystal doorknob. I don't... You start of unsure to phrase how you're feeling in a way that doesn't hurt her, even if those two words her face is falling. Right. This is sudden, she says, clutching the top of her robe closed. No, no, it's not you, I... She cuts you off. It's not you, it's me, right? It's okay, I get it. And are we dumping our girlfriend? All right. Good. Pencils. Uh, turn on the TV and let your mind go blank. You grab the TV remote. Good. Watch the TV... How with the fuck am I gonna do this? Let's see. Don't answer. Fuck Attic. He's an asshole anyways. Another sleepless Thursday night. That mountain range is back and we just can't stop thinking about it. Um, alright. Tell her it's nothing and she should go back to sleep. Yeah, don't talk about your problems. Netflix. 
Netflix again. We really like Netflix. Um, I'm gonna play with the cat. Hi, cat. The nice cat, staring right at us, wishing for our demise daily. I know it. I see you. I had a cat like that in here. Fuck you, Bingley. Anyway, it's a cold Saturday afternoon. Uh, you have some very stupid-looking shoes that are very unkempt. Kind of like my shoes. My shoes are pretty stupid-looking. Uh, end of this. Tell her she's wrong. Yep, she's wrong. Tell her she's wrong. Fuck her. Candles. Your mom asked you pointedly. Well, we are... Ep oh, wait. What happened? There's no doubt the pressure is about to toll on you as um, you dragging yourself in a job you didn't even toss... Let's see. Alright, so we broke up with Alex. We couldn't go to therapy. Um. And we got the exact same ending as we did last time, actually. Except without dr being drunk. Uh, once again, I just want to say, um. They want us to pay money for this eventually. On Steam. Uh. Yeah. There was our game for the day, and there's the uh, International Foundation for Research and Ed on uh, Education and Depression. Yeah. Did you know Lincoln was depressed? And whatever that lady is, and I don't know who that guy is. Um, I think I... maybe. And um, Ben Stiller. Yeah, Ben Stiller is depressed, I guess. I could see why he's not a very good actor. That guy's name is Ben Stiller, right? I think that's Ben Stiller. Anyway, um, I guess all those people are really depressed. That's, yeah, really happy for being depressed. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I guess, um... I guess that's our lesson on why the Jews did 9-11. <laughs>